Aloha Marine Corps Base Hawaii, it's Corporal Stacey back with another edition of the Hawaii Marine. In honor of the tragic events of September 11th, Marines, first responders, and support staff from Marine Corps Base Hawaii gathered to commemorate and honor those who lost their lives in the terrorist attacks 22 years ago. In our continuing efforts to ensure Paloa Range Training Facility remains compatible to the surrounding and evolving community, Marine Corps Base Hawaii's Safety Department, along with PRTF personnel, conducted an environmental sound study to test and experiment with the effectiveness of suppressed weapons at reducing noise pollution exiting the range facility. Additionally, the Deputy Commandant of Installations and Logistics, Lieutenant General Edward D. Banta, also visited PRTF this month to discuss ongoing modernization and compatibility efforts on the facilities to meet the demands of a constantly evolving strategic environment during his recent visit to MSBH. National Public Lands Day is celebrated annually on the fourth Saturday of September for both popular enjoyment and volunteer conservation of public lands. MCBH volunteers participated this year by assisting in the Pua Stream and Bellows Beach cleanup held by the National Environmental Education Foundation. MCBH's commitment to building and maintaining relationships with our neighbors while supporting environmental efforts extends beyond Hawaii. This month, our waterfront operations team conducted an oil spill response capabilities demonstration for Indian Ocean Partners, comprised of Sri Lanka and Maldives government officials. The visit and demonstration coordinated by the U.S. State Department and U.S. Navy provided concepts and capabilities to assist these countries' development of marine environmental conservation programs. On the topic of capabilities demonstrations, a group of unique spectators received a tech demo on our very own Dewey Square this month. Military homeschoolers of Hawaii received an educational and capabilities demonstration on military technology from MSPH Explosive Ordnance Disposal Marines and Marathon a military technology company. Participants viewed demos and participated in some hands-on activities while learning about military occupations related to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to spark their curiosity and broaden perspectives. As always, training is continuous across MCBH's training areas and both the MAG and MLR have been hard at work refining and testing their capabilities. First, Marines with Marine Wing Support Squadron, MWSS-174, conducted a joint training forward arming and refueling point exercise with soldiers from Echo Company, 2nd Battalion, 25th Aviation Regiment at Schofield Barracks. This training improves our joint integration capabilities and prepares both sides for the upcoming Joint Pacific Multinational Readiness Center event scheduled to commence in November 2023. Lastly, and to wrap up the month of September, Pacific Marines, to include our very own 3rd Marine Littoral Regiment and Marine Aircraft Group 2-4, participated in the Force Design Integration Exercise. FDIE exercised Pacific Marines' ability to conduct stand-in force operations on the Hawaiian island of Oahu and neighboring islands. The exercise implemented current Pacific Marines' capabilities as an effective Indo-Pacific stand-in force, integrated with the Navy and Joint Forces. Through the execution of Force Design 2023 enabled capabilities, forces implemented technology, doctrine, and policy initiatives to allow stand-in forces to sense and make sense of potential adversaries, seize and hold key maritime terrain, and conduct reconnaissance and counter-reconnaissance. And that wraps up another edition of the Hawaii Marine. Don't forget to follow us on social media for more on what's taking place in and around MCBH. Mahalo.